So today we are going to learn how to do subtraction word problems. So they're similar to addition word problems, we need to look out for some key information. But this time, instead of having two parts that we're adding together, the subtraction word problems usually give us a whole and then there's some words that give us a clue that they are taking them away. Now these words can sometimes be a little bit tricky because sometimes it might say something is broken or something falls or something gets eaten. But when you picture it, you know that that amount of objects is decreasing and it's getting smaller because something's happened to that number. So some words that we can look out for are maybe leftover, because it usually means that some have gone. Another word could be remain or decrease, which means the number's getting smaller. And sometimes the word take away is also in. But let's have a look at a few examples and see if we can pull out the important information. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> I like this one. Miss Drought made six brownies, but she ate three. How many brownies are left? Okay, so I made six brownies, okay? I made six brownies, but then I ate three. So six must be my whole number. And three must be the part that I'm taking away because they're in my belly now. So I need to do six, take away three equals. Now you can use whatever strategy you want. You can lock it in your brain. You might want to draw it. You might want to use a number line. I'm going to lock it in my brain. So the whole number is six and I'm going to count down three, six brownies, and I ate three, six, five, four, three. So six take away three equals three. I've still got three brownies to enjoy. <laughs> Let's have another go at a word problem. All right, Mrs. Pike picked 10 strawberries but on the way to her house, she dropped four on the ground. How many strawberries does Mrs. Pike have left in her basket? Did you hear that word? Have left? That's usually a pretty good indication that it's subtraction. Also, the word that she dropped them gives us a clue that they were taking away and we are reducing the number. So how many did she have to start with? What's the whole number? 10, great work. And how many are we subtracting? Four, because she dropped four on the ground. Okay, so it's 10 take away four equals, I'm gonna lock it in again, 10, and we're counting down four. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. So 10 take away four equals six. So Mrs. Pike still has six strawberries. Mm. So I want you to have a go at working out some of these subtraction word problems. Remember to look for the key information and pop it into a number sentence. Then you can choose whatever strategy you like to solve the problem. Bye guys.